What's going on guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna get started with doing a small refactor uh, to clean up our code a little bit. We are going to be refactoring this circular profile image view. So you guys might have noticed that we're reusing that sort of circular profile image in a lot of different places on the app. Uh, one, we're using it right here in our menu. Uh, we're also using it in this active now view. We're also using it in our inbox row view right here. And then we use it again in our profile and we use it yet again inside of our chat view right here. So we have a lot of copy and pasted code for that right now with how to uh, you know, create that image and the modifiers associated with it. So I just wanna create um, a reusable component that's gonna really clean our code up a lot and help us out with using that circular profile image view in the future. So let's go ahead and go to our core folder and we're gonna make a folder for components. And what I like to do with this components guy is add all of the reusable components that are gonna be used throughout the application, this circular profile image view being one of them. So let's go ahead and create a Swift UI view, and we're gonna call this circular profile image view. And here's what we're gonna do, guys. We are going to populate this guy with a user. So I'm gonna say let user, and that's gonna be a user. And why do we want to do this? Well, basically, the logic in our app is saying that profile images are optional. So basically, what we want to do is say that if a user has a profile image, show that profile image. If they don't, then we just want to show that, that placeholder image uh, of like the, the, the grayed out person icon. Um, so let's fix our preview here. We're going to say user.mock user. And let's go ahead and uh, start adding the code for our circular profile image view here. So basically, here's the logic. We want to say if let image URL equals user.profile image URL, then we're going to say I want an image with the image URL dot resizable dot scale to fill dot frame of a width and height and we could make this 80 by 80 for now. We are gonna make the size dynamic in just a little bit. And then we're gonna say dot clip shape circle. So there's our circular profile image. And then we'll say else image system name person dot circle dot fill. And let's just go ahead and grab these modifiers. We don't need scale to fill, we don't need to give it a clip shape, but we do need to give it a foreground color of color dot system gray four. Okay, so next up guys, we wanna make the size dynamic here, right? Because we can see that we have a bunch of different sizes for our profile, our circular profile image, right? This is like a super small size. This is its own size. The active now view has its own size and then this header view has its own size, the profile view has a, a different size. So basically, we wanna make that uh, size dynamic so that when we create this circular profile image view, we can specify the size that we want it to be. So I'm gonna make an enum for that, and we're gonna call it profile image size. And we're gonna just add a couple cases. So we're gonna have like extra, extra small case extra small case small case medium case large case extra large and then we're going to create this dimension property and it's going to be a cg float and we're going to do a switch through self and we're going to say case dot xx small return 28 case dot small or extra small return 32 case dot small return 40 case dot medium return 56 case dot large return 64 and then case for extra large return 80. 
So this covers like all of the sizes that we're going to want for our profile image size. Now to implement that, we're going to add this as an input parameter inside of our circular profile image view. So we're going to say let size and that's going to be our profile image size. The first place is this is going to throw an error is our preview. So go ahead here guys and just say like dot medium. And that's as simple as it is to configure the size that you want for your profile image view. Now we just have to replace this hard coded value of 80 with our size dot dimension and size dot dimension. And then we do the same thing for our placeholder view size dot dimension size dot dimension. Cool. So That's uh, that's super slick there, guys, and it makes this really customizable and really easy to reuse throughout the application. Now, if you want to change the size, you literally just go like dot large. Right. And, you know, so we'll make it a little bigger dot extra extra small. And that's like the smallest size that we have. Right. So that's really cool. Let's go ahead and see how we're going to implement this now throughout the application. So first off in our profile view, let's go ahead and head over to this else block right here where we render the user's profile image and we're just going to replace that with circular profile image view. You notice it asks us for a user. We have that guy right here. So we just need to pass that along so it knows what profile image to use. And then we are going to say dot extra large. And we should notice that everything looks exactly the same. So that's great. And next up, let's go to our inbox view. And let's see, we have our user here as well. So now for this navigation link, we can go ahead here and say circular profile image view user and we could make that the small size. That's a little bit bigger, so maybe let's go extra small. Yep, that looks great. Uh, next up, guys, we have this new message view. So let's go ahead and replace that. So we don't have access to a user here yet. We're just looping through these the static range of numbers. We will eventually have access to a user. So we can just use the, the mock user for now. So go ahead here and replace this with circular profile image view user dot mock user. And it's going to be medium, I believe. Let's see. Okay, that's way too big. I think we actually want small. Perfect. All right. Um, that's looking pretty good. Next up, we want this in our active now view and our inbox row view. And then we will be done with this refactor. So let's see, we go here. Circular profile image view user user dot mock user. And we're, then we're going to say, uh, what's it called dot medium. Perfect. And then last but not least, our inbox row view right here. So this is where our image is, circular profile image view, user dot mock user, and then we'll make that medium as well, I believe. Perfect. All right, guys, so that's looking really, really good. Next up, we're going to go over how to use that inside of our chat view. So we're going to be reusing that component inside of our chat view. And then we're going to be building out all of this fancy messaging stuff, which is going to be so much fun. So we'll see you guys there. Peace out.